Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. I'm Pete Gruber, and today we're talking about battery tech and adoption. Ah, battery technology, the gato of the tech world. We've been waiting for the next big breakthrough longer than fans have been waiting for the next George R. R. Martin book. Unlike the winds of winter, stakes here are slightly higher than finding out who ends up on the Iron Throne. Let's start with the glacial pace of battery development. You'd think that with all the buzz about EVs and renewable energy, we'd be swimming in revolutionary battery tech by now. Instead, we're still largely relying on lithium-ion batteries, the same basic technology and chemistry that's been powering our smartphones since the 90s. Because nothing says cutting edge like using tech older than most TikTok users. But why the holdup? Well, for starters, developing new battery chemistry is about as easy as teaching a cat to fetch. We're talking about complex electrochemistry here, not updating an app. Scientists have been banging their heads against the lab bench for decades, trying to find the perfect balance of energy density, safety, and cost. It's like trying to win a game of chemical whack-a-mole, solve one problem, and three more pop up. And let's not forget the thrilling world of battery manufacturing. Scaling up from a promising lab prototype to mass production is about as smooth as a ride in a Model T Ford. It turns out that what works beautifully in a Petri dish doesn't always play nice when you're trying to make millions of units. Who knew? But surely, with all the demand for better batteries, we must be throwing mountains of cash at this problem, right? Well, not exactly. While tech giants are happy to spend billions on developing the next addictive social media app, Funding for fundamental battery research often feels like it's an afterthought. It's as if we're more interested in finding new ways to doom scroll than empowering the clean energy revolution. Then there's the adoption side of things. Even when we do manage to squeeze out an incremental improvement, the market moves at the speed of a sloth on tranquilizers. Car manufacturers, bless their risk averse hearts, are about as eager to adopt new battery tech as a teenager is to adopt their parents' fashion sense. Unproven technology in this economy? Let's stick with what we know and maybe think about it again in a decade or two. And don't get me started on regulatory hurdles. By the time a new battery technology jumps through all the safety hoops, which granted are important when you're essentially carrying around a powered brick of potential fire, the tech is practically ready for retirement. And let's not forget the role of good old market forces. Why rush to develop and adopt new battery tech when you can milk the current generation for all it's worth. It's the tech equivalent of re-releasing Skyrim on every platform known to man instead of, you know, making the Elder Scrolls 6. The irony is, we need better batteries yesterday. They're the linchpin for everything from renewable energy to electric vehicles. Without them, our clean energy dreams are about as realistic as powering a city with a hamster wheel. So here we are in 2024, still dreaming of the battery that will change everything while we limp along with incremental improvements. It's like watching paint dry, except the paint is supposed to save the planet. In the meantime, we'll keep hearing about how the next big battery breakthrough is just around the corner, and who knows, maybe this time it actually is. But don't hold your breath. Or if you do, make sure you can hold it for another decade or two. After all, that's probably how long it'll take for that breakthrough to actually make it into your EV.